Hey y'all, I'm just going to make a quick video showing how to use um, Desmos, just some basic things on how it works. So again, it's located in your Google Classroom. So if you go to Classwork, it is right down here. You've got class information. There's this Desmos activities. Don't click that. It'll take you to this page and it's going to ask you for a code. Don't do that. That's for when we do activities. Don't that's not your calculator. Here, online calculators where it says Desmos, very first one, you're going to click Desmos and hit this button right there. And it'll launch you straight to it. Okay, so this is your calculator. You click in here and you can enter whatever text you want. And you can enter as many different texts as you want. And when you're done, you can just clear it by hitting the little X button. You can use your keyboard to type or this keyboard down here pops up or pops down. It's right down here in the bottom left corner. So we click this. Um, some basic um, things are using the squared button. So four, and if I want to square a number, this button right here. If I'm going to do any other number other than squaring it, I use this button, A to the B power, and I can plug in whatever number I want, any number. When we're talking about simplifying expressions, if you've got 3K plus 5K, you cannot plug it in 3K plus 5K. It's not going to work. You can't put in the variable. You can only put in the coefficients. Remember, coefficients are the number in front. So I can only put in those numbers. And then you add the K on at the end. So if it's 3K plus 5K, in your calculator, all you're going to type in is 3 plus 5. That's it. And then at the end, you'll know it's 8 K, that's his last name. So don't plug in any variables. No letters are getting plugged in. Only the coefficients, only the number. Um, fractions, if you're doing a fraction, um, three fifths plus eight. You're just going to plug in three divided by is your fraction bar. So divided by, and it automatically moves it to the bottom for you. Fifths. Now notice when you're typing, the cursor's still blinking underneath here. If I start typing, everything else is going to go underneath. That's not what I want. So when you're done with the three fists, you have to press this button right here. It's going to move it over or the right button on your keyboard, the little arrow key. So click it so it's blinking. Now it's blinking beside it. And then you can say plus five or whatever you're doing. There it is, 5.6. If you need your answer in a fraction, this is your magic button right here. It takes decimals and it turns them into a fraction when you click it. So 28 over 5. And if you click it back, it'll turn it into a decimal. Pretty cool. Um, if you have a mixed number, so say we're doing 15 uh, plus 5 and 3 fifths. Uh, the only way I know how to do this, there might be an easier way if you know how, tell me. Plus five and three fifths, you're going to type in the three fifths first. So three divided by five. And then you're going to go back in and add your five in front of it to do a mixed number. That's the only way I know how to do it. If y'all figure out an easier way, let me know. Um, I mean, not that that's difficult, but if there's another way, let me know. And again, turn it into a fraction, magic button, bam, magic button right there. So that's kind of for simplifying expressions. It's kind of all you really need to know um, for that way. So if you're having trouble, I'm thinking maybe you're plugging in your variables and that's not what you're supposed to be doing. So um, hopefully that this video helped you out a little bit. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks.